So what we are doing today is we are going to be um, doing a coffee review. So I have here, this is Jose's um, Vanilla Nut Whole Bean Coffee right here. This is from Costco, okay? Um, Jose's Gourmet Coffee. I've done the review already for the espresso blend, and this is the Vanilla Nut. So I wanna do a, do a press of this right here, okay? And we're also gonna be drinking uh, this one right here, which is the uh, Ethiopia Light from Lagar Coffee Roasters here in uh, Paris, California, all right? So uh, we'll be doing that in the pour over on this side. So yeah, let's get into it. Ooh, so this smells like really, really vanilla -y. It's a really dark looking bean. Let's see that. Okay. And this just smells like, well, this smells like your typical Starbucks vanilla something. Really sweet smelling. This is definitely, um, yeah, it says natural and artificially flavored on the front of the bag there. So, Ooh, this stuff has quite the aroma. Now this is all natural, okay? Mm, this has, like a sweet berry smell to it. A sweet, sweet berry smell to it. I'm gonna show you guys the difference here. So this is the Gar Coffee Roaster Specialty Craft Roast. Specialty Craft Roast. This is Jose's Gourmet Coffee. This is uh, bulk coffee that you can get at Costco. And um, so it's a little bit different here. And you can see a difference in the bean, okay? Specialty craft roast, like this light brown, smaller, non-uniform bean. Dark, really glossy, uniform bean there. So this one has more of an earthy berry smell to it. And this one has an over an overtly nutty smell to it. Vanilla nut smell to it. So that's my little breakdown on the beans here. Let's get grinding. For two coffee press here. Oof. Now it's starting to smell more like coffee. Okay, this is bulk coffee from Costco. And we're gonna try them. We're gonna taste the differences in them. I don't think they're the same thing. I already, <laughs> I, I'm re I really like Ligar stuff because I buy beans from them for my coffee. If you know about the coffee subscription, the Average Fellows coffee subscription, the, the coffee that we thought fit the Average Fellows breakfast morning blend the best. And um, yeah, so that's what that's what you're gonna get in, in the Average Fellows coffee subscription. So if you don't already know, you can go to www.averagefellows.com for your coffee subscription. Um, that's uh, beans that I selected from Lagar Coffee Roasters. And Lagar is the one who actually roasted this coffee right here. This is Ethiopia Light right here, hashtag redefining coffee, Paris, California. We're trying their coffee and we're trying Jose's Gourmet Coffee again, just so you guys know where we're at, all right? All right. Mm, I'm gonna show you these ones. Look at that. You can tell this is a lighter shade of brown. This roast is a lighter roast. That's gonna go in this side right here, okay? Okay, going in here. It's gonna go right here. That's called a plume. Okay, so. Here we are, and we have a pairing with us today. This is a brand muffin here. Uh, and what we're gonna be doing is uh, we will be tasting this Jose's. We're doing the press right now. Okay. Ooh, look at that go. All right, cool. I'm gonna pour this guy, give this one a shot. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and give this one a sniff. Okay, so right away, this is the vanilla nut. I can smell the vanilla nut, like right away. It is 100% vanilla. It smells sweet. It smells like artificial flavors. All right, let's give it the old sip test. Here it goes. Okay. I'm gonna be real with y'all. This tastes like a vanilla flavored cigarette. That's what this tastes like. Um, hey, if you're into it, you're into it. <laughs> this is a strange tasting coffee. That's all I gotta say. Um, ooh, really dry. Um, I taste the vanilla a lot. Like I said, it tastes, uh, it tastes really dry. Okay, here we have, this is the Lagar Coffee Roasters Ethiopia Light, especially craft roast. Give this one the old sniffer. That's good. I like that. Um, <clears throat> we've been I've been sipping on the Lagar Ethiopia Light for about um, I'd say two weeks now. I've been sipping it here and there, and um, I it's really refreshing. It's really light, and uh, I think it goes well with fresh fruit. That's the best way I could put it. It's a really just um, light tasting aromatics kind of filling your cheeks here um, <clears throat> compared to this on this side I taste the vanilla it tastes like gas station coffee it tastes like gas station coffee gas station flavored coffee so if you like gas station flavored coffee that's what this one tastes like there is no comparison in the flavor here um, I just, <clears throat> it's not my thing, not my thing. Let's go ahead and do the pairing here. Here's a brand muffin that I got. I think it's almost necessary to eat something with this coffee in order for it to to work out well. Because by itself, it tastes like gas station coffee, 100%. Lagar. Mm. This coffee just doesn't go well with breads. Like I said, it's fresh fruit. Um or even just plain breakfast. But I don't think you need something sweet to pair with this coffee. This coffee just has such a, um, a refreshing, it's almost like tea. Uh, there's such a refreshing flavor to it. You don't wanna add the sugar to it. Um, compared to this coffee, you need to add sugar to this coffee <laughs> in order for it to taste delicious. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This is um, $13 at Costco. This is $20 online. I think it's a little less than that. I think it's a little cheap. I think it might be 15. Um, um, I think it might be $15. And this is 12 ounces. And this is three pounds of coffee. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy my review. <laughs>